that was decided with Tungero of Maputo track fame. Were you expecting this? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I was expecting like, you know, someone Phoenix, else. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, the Frank Rogers, you know, Liquid Deep, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, it's the guy who gave you Maputo track, the most commercialized song of all time. But I still don't believe, you know. Huh? I still don't believe. It's him. <laughs> no, so you think? No. So you think he commissioned uh, commissioned it with someone? Bought, bought the rights to the track and because <laughs> it doesn't even tell who, who doesn't even say who the vocalist is, yeah. just says DJ Stunkero. There's one guy who did like he, he he used to do like a whole lot of cheese music, right. and then like for like a period of three years or, or something like that, and then he came back and now he's doing this. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess it's because the uh, Soulful House is coming back uh, on the commercial scene. That's a real sexy track right there. It's beautiful. Yeah, you play this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I would definitely play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, as, uh, like I said, we have uh, DJ Kelvin Morgan coming all the way from Detroit. I don't know if I'm gonna say it proper when I say Detroit. Is it Detroit or De Detroit? Detroit. The D. Yeah. What up, though? Detroit, Motor Michigan. City. You know, you know, uh, Tato. Yeah, man. I know you're a hip hop uh, head. Yeah, uh, proper, man. man. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something about Detroit. It's all hardcore. That they actually have. You know how we have Devon music here. Yeah. They have their own sound. Yeah. In Detroit, yeah, in the states, they, like your house, they have their own sound. Like where, like even Frank Roger has has done it. Uh, I think Ame has also produced some yeah. tracks like with the Detroit sound. What do you play for Nix? No, I'm playing a little bit of deep commercial, but I enjoy commercial and techno. You know. Well, what do you mean commercial? Because I mean, even soulful can be commercial. I mean, this this track, <laughs> when, if, if say it goes commercial uh, on radio, that is commercial. How, how do we define commercial? No, yeah. no, no, I'm just asking. Okay. <laughs> what is commercial? Okay. Uh, are we saying all the upbeat uh, tracks yeah, are commercial? Upbeat, yeah. Or are just you playing upbeat stuff? Yeah, upbeat stuff. Because you know, um, uh, who, who who are these guys? Uh, not Jezanova. Okay, I think it's Jezanova. Uh, that night. Yeah, Jezanova. Yeah, yes. Yeah, right. Um, that, that track is commercial. Yeah. Okay, now country is commercial. It's really commercial. Yeah, it's heavy, heavy wow. commercial. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, man, that's, that's amazing to me because you guys have a a really great scene here. Yeah. So to hear mm. house defined in the terms of commercial yeah. is blowing me away because in the U.S. house is pretty much underground now. And the commercial stuff is okay. It's not even house. It's like dance music. Right. Well, yeah. not, not really dance music. You might get a remix of uh, what's her name? Aguilera. Yeah, Agu Christina. Yeah, Christina yeah. Aguilera. Yeah. yeah. I'm so apart from the mainstream music. Oh, okay. You know, but yeah, you get like Madonna remix and stuff like that. Yeah. But the dominant music in the states right now is hip hop. Okay. So, um, 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 Kelvin, how long have you been playing for? Oh, 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 oh. Do we have the time? Yeah. I, 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 feel, I feel like I feel like he's been playing before even my parents planned me. My nigga. <laughs> yeah, I started man Woo. in 1980. Yeah. yeah 1980s. So, yeah, so it's it's been that's that's a long years, time. Yeah. yeah, it's been 30 years. It's been a while. Jeepers. Ooh, that's a very long time. Yeah. So so you are uh, and at the moment have you you know how how how. The industry, the DJing industry, mm. the, let me say the art, okay, let me not say the art because I'm going to expose myself. Let me say the industry <laughs> has moved from vinyl, right, and then it went into CD, right. and now it's moving into software. Yeah. Uh, how far have you gone with it? Have you, you've obvi obviously you started with the vinyls and then moved into CDs. Yeah, are, you, are, you, are you on the laptops here? That, never. Never? No. <laughs> Done. Are you on never. the vinyls? I'm, I'm still playing vinyl in yeah. some sets. Like in Atlanta, yeah. I still play vinyl. If I travel, depending yeah. on what their setup is, because a lot of times when you're traveling, mm -hmm. they're so into the digital where they don't even have turntables. Yeah. So it's kind of hard. Oh yeah. You know? But at home, yeah, in the U.S. is vinyl. E even some states yeah. in the U.S. It's they're still playing vinyl. Yeah, still playing vinyl, but mostly digital and laptops. Detroit, pretty much everybody's playing by it. Pretty much everyone. Yeah, because we, we have to import it now. There's one or two stores left in Detroit wow. where there's actual vinyl. At least you still have stores. We yeah. don't have anything. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, and, and the crazy part it. about it is a lot of my friends, yeah. they'll export the music <laughs> to yeah. London, Japan. That we have to, If we don't catch a promo from them, 
We wow. have to get it as an import back to Detroit. So you, it's like you buy, you buying it after right. it goes international right. and then right. comes back. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And when, when was the last time you bought a vinyl yourself? Uh, well, the last vinyl I got was a couple of weeks ago from wow. a good friend of mine, Rick Wilhite, which we have something coming out yeah. in another month on, on vinyl. Yeah. So, and you have guys in Detroit that will not touch a laptop. Oh. And, mm. and we've had guys to come into a party mm. and they've got their Serato or Rain hookup. Yeah. And we look at them. What do you expect to play? Yeah. Right, right. And we're like, no, we don't, no. You can't. I mean, because I've done parties where in Atlanta, yeah. where I might start off and I'm playing CDs. And the guy might come behind me and he's playing either Tractor or Serato. Yeah. And I find that he can't match my beats. Oh. He'll, he'll let the song fade out. Yeah. Oh. And then bring the song in. Because a lot of guys are really just getting into it. So they're not used to blending and beat matching. They're used to watching the waves. Oh, so. Oh. <laughs> they don't listen to the beat. Uh, they just, right, they just right, watch the yeah. monitor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that, that to me is, is amazing. You know, because I came behind him because I realized the crowd that I had on the floor. Which each, with each plat track he played, the crowd just kind of disappeared. Yeah, it just goes. And so I said, well, let me play a couple more. Yeah. And then I went ahead and blended into what he had playing and yeah. got the crowd back up. Huh. And wow. Yeah. Tater. Yeah, man. Calvin, you had a DJ crew. Yeah, yeah. Back in the days. Yeah. Yeah, what? it was a uh, direct drive, man. And basically, direct drive, what dr direct drive was a group of DJs that was pretty much doing. A lot of the parties around the city, man. Mm. You know, and they would say if you didn't have a direct drive DJ at your party, you didn't really have a party. Mm. Mm. That's mm. just, I mean, backyard parties, yeah, club parties. A lot of the DJs were, were direct drive DJs. And then, what uh, what, what did direct uh, drive crew play at parties? Was it only house music or you? Well, back then we didn't really tag it as house. It was like dance music, oh, you know, okay. like the. Uh, like yes, mm -hmm. uh, man, front two four two, yeah. nine inch nails, yeah. some of everybody, man, Marshall Jefferson, mm. man, some Colonel Abrams, mm -hmm. education, right some there. Some names that yeah, it was, our listeners it, don't even know. It just, <laughs> it, it, it's just Marshall amazing Jefferson. the music that we would play. Yeah. And now, if you try to drop it for certain people, they wouldn't even know it. Yeah. yeah. Because we didn't really put a, a, a definition on it. Yeah. We just played music that we liked. Yeah. Like the B 52s. Yeah. You know, Gary Newman. Oh, man. We used to play. <laughs> sure. I'm chilling out there. Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, we would play some stuff as long as it was hot. Yeah. We would play it. Keepers, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that's a uh, rich uh, history. I see um, um, on your biography, like you, you're friends with, or oh, you started off, when you were starting off, yeah. you were affiliated with L, L. Heath. Alan Heath. Yeah, Alan Heath. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, no, he, like Al Heath was a local DJ, not yeah. the guy that, that does the mixer. Is he what? What? Like he, he was more like is he a sound engineer or something like he, that? Well, he he was a DJ, and he's the guy that got me into the mode of buying my own equipment. Yeah. And then renting to other DJs. Oh. Because I would have to go to him mm -hmm. <laughs> to get a system, and then in most cases. The money he would charge me to run the system yeah. was pretty much a lot of what I, I was getting paid. Oh. So I said, you know what, let me do what Al is doing. <laughs> and, buy, and buy my own stuff. But he's taken it so far that um, uh, he has like a, a mixer name. No, 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 not, not him. No, oh, not, it's not him. him. No. It's someone else. Yeah, someone else, yeah. So there's another Alan Heath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, wow. I yeah, thought man. it was the same one. Which Alan Heath is the one, the one with yeah, the, one Heath, the mix? We're just a local sound guy from yeah. Detroit. Oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So okay. who, who, who took whose name? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we're still gonna continue with the interview for now. We're still continuing with our house, uh, our local house beats on Violent Point Five. This is the Vodacom Color Lunch, the interview, the main interview with our international DJ Calvin Morgan. <laughs>